I already recorded this video once and I didn't have any audio because I'm retarded. Yeah, I said that. Anyway, get yourself some MSI Afterburner. You don't have to have any garbage ass MSI hardware to run this. This is, it can be used for overclocking. I'm not overclocking shit on my video card because it doesn't need it because it's a 12 gig RTX 3080. What this does, number one, if you go to fan, you say enable user defined software, and then you can set your own fan curve. because these new cards they want to stop the fans anyway my ambient temperature is 27 C in this house that's 81 degrees F what's the point monitoring when you get afterburner installed it will also ask you if you want to install Reva tuner. You do. Now these are two separate but really linked things. This is the afterburner settings here. In the monitoring tab, you can select which items, if any, you want displayed in the on screen display. this is what I have GPU temperature GPU usage memory usage core clock memory clock power there's, uh, there's so many things that I don't need displayed when you're setting this up like if you want to display CPU 3 hit that check mark and then down here Make sure that's checked, showing on screen display. I don't care about CPU 3. Set everything up that you want displayed. Then hit apply. Then down here in your sys tray, you hit that Reva Tuner Statistics Server. Show on screen display is on. Oh. Let me back up over here in settings. Uh, monitoring. Is that right? No. On screen display. On screen display. Toggle on screen display. Set a hotkey to turn it on, to turn it off. Use a key that you're not going to be using while gaming. Or you'll be turning it on and off and on and off while you're gaming. And yeah. So control shift S, that's what I use. I saw somebody else using the pause key. Who the hell uses the pause key? Good option. That's what I use. Now over here, you turn on the on screen display. You've already got a hotkey for it. These are all my settings. This little slider here makes it smaller, makes it bigger. We're going to have it about that big. Excuse me. For video purposes, you can use these to set the position, or you can just drag it wherever you want. I want it at 15 and 25. 15 and 25. Okay, okay. Then you can minimize that. Now, what's the purpose of this video? Here's the pair. This is my CPU. It's a it's an eight year old fourth gen i7 from 2014. It's water cooled. That's as cool as it runs in this house because I live in Florida and I'm cheap. In other words, it's hot in here in the summer. It's not as hot in the winter. 
Now that's an odd pairing. An RTX 3080 with an eight-year-old processor. Turn this back down to normal and put it back on the second monitor where it belongs. We can minimize that. Here's what I'm getting at. Run this benchmark. Okay. What we're looking at in this benchmark is this number here and the GPU line. And it shows you the GPU temperature, the GPU utilization. That's at 98%. It shows you the GPU clock speed. It shows you how much power the GPU is using. Yes, it's using 340 watts. Those are real watts and they will cost you money when it comes time to pay the electric bill. It's using 2.3 gigs of my 12 gigs video memory. CPU line, it's running at 47 degrees. It's being utilized at 25%. It's running at 4,400 megahertz, 4.4 gigahertz. It's using 27 watts. My system in its entirety, including the two monitors, is using 600 watts total at this point. What's the purpose of this whole display? You want to compare these two numbers. The GPU utilization compared to the CPU utilization. We can see here that I'm using all of the video card. I'm using 97% of it. That's it. You, don't ha you can't use more than 100%. We're only using 25% of the CPU. So what will a CPU upgrade do for me in this title? It will do absolutely nothing. Because as crazy as it sounds, with a 3440 by 1440 ultra wide monitor at 144 hertz, the RTX 3080 is the bottleneck in the system, even with an eight year old CPU. Stunning, I know. But that's what it is. So when I get a new CPU, nothing will change here. Except the CPU utilization will probably go down. The GPU will still run at 100% because it can't run anymore. Okay. Now if we run a slightly newer benchmark, the GPU utilization at 76, 76%, 77%, the CPU is 23%. There's my, my frame rate, 145, 46, 48, 49. Nice flat line on the frame time. The flatter the line, the smoother the frame rate. No matter if it's 30 frames a second or 300 frames a second, you want that frame time low. Every spike in that line is a stutter. There are ways to smooth that out, but I, that's not the topic. The topic is, where is my bottleneck? There is no bottleneck in this application. It's barely using the video card. It's using three quarters of it, and it's using one quarter of the CPU. Now, if we turn this to, it's on ultra quality. Turn it to low quality. That'll use more CPU, less GPU. Let's see what that does. On low. A 
low settings. It's not using any more CPU. It's using a lot less GPU. Still looks pretty good. I like Ultra better. So, when you're analyzing your system here, you can see that there, there is no bottleneck. This is a perfect application for the system as it is. Are we getting all this? Good. Let's run an even newer benchmark. Preset. Custom. Set that way up here. 3440 by 1440. Shader quality. Hell, let's go extreme. Texture quality high. Motion blur sucks. <clears throat> this has got a lot of sound in it. Um, with no control. So let's just see what it does and we'll talk about it afterwards. It's going to be red for a while. Your system didn't crash. But we're getting three frames a second. Two. Zero. You see how the, the frame time spikes GPU was maxed out 99% and the CPU was not. Let's go to 4K optimized on the textures. <clears throat> Top line, second number. Third line, second number. Those are the only two you need to worry about. That was a pretty good balance. That was 85% graphics card utilization and about a third, 33% of CPU utilization. What would a new CPU do for me when in, in this application? Nothing. Would not improve a damn thing. Let me throw this in. If you have an NVIDIA card, NVIDIA control panel... Probably had that open already. You wait for that to load. Mm -hmm. There it is. You need to, right here, adjust image settings with preview. You need to check that middle box. Use the advanced 3D image settings. Manage 3D image settings. Go down to the bottom. Vertical sync needs to be set. 
fast. You have several options. You have use the 3D application, off, on, adaptive, adaptive, half, or fast. Fast syncs the display with whatever rate the game is outputting. If the game varies like they all do between 70 and 200 frames a second, if it varies while you're playing it, fast V-Sync is where you want it. It will give you no tearing. Tearing is bad. Okay, okay. Um, if we look here, 3D Mark, run that, yeah, yep, launch it. More benchmarks. Fire Strike Extreme. Oh, we got we got three different Fire Strikes. Fire Strike. I suppose that's for 1080. I don't know what this is for. This is obviously for 4K. 3440 Ultra Wide is not 4K, but it's damn close. So we run this one. That's custom run. Should we do a custom run? Yeah, because this resolution is fucked. Are you seeing me do this? Are you not? 3440 by 1440. That is a 21 by 9 aspect ratio. That's ultra wide. That should... Should fill the screen. Should it not? That's what I think. No, no, no. Let's see. All right, let's run it. The reason I'm pointing this out is because even though it's set to my maximum resolution, it runs letterboxed. Top line, second number. Third line, second number. The GPU utilization versus CPU utilization. We can see at this, on this benchmark, we are GPU bottlenecked. Yes, the RTX 3080 is the bottleneck in the system with an eight-year-old CPU. A new CPU would do nothing to improve this benchmark. Next one, graphics test two. I should point out that I just upgraded the video card from a GTX 1070. This is running at 70 frames a second, 78. The 1070 did not like this benchmark at all. It was basically a slideshow. The 3080, it's maxed out. The CPU is under 30% utilization. What would a new CPU do for this benchmark? That's right, nothing. Once again, the 3080 is the bottleneck in this system, in this application. But wait, there's more. The physics test. This is going to use the CPU more. And you can tell by looking at the bottom of the screen, my FPS has dropped to well below 40. And I can tell by looking at my CPU usage, which is at 94%, compared to 20% on the GPU, that a CPU improvement upgrade would do quite a bit quite a bit to up that score the 
combined test. It's actually a decent balance on CPU and GPU usage, but the frame rate is pathetically low. Is that because of the massive fucking frame time number? I don't know. We'll see when I get a new CPU, won't we? Anyway, there's my score. Now, let's uh This is a pretty good game here. Let's see what it does. Brand new game. There we go. 94% graphics card utilization already. At the title. Okay. That's a pretty good balance. 68%. 65. What are my settings, you might say? What are my settings? Video. 3440 by 1440. Full screen. View distance very high. Everything else high, very high. Motion blur off, V Sync. Always, always off. Would a new CPU help this title? Possibly. But we're hitting 60-ish, 86. Like I said, the frame rate in most games is all over the damn place. I had a Jeep. Where's my Jeep? If you look at that, that frame time graph there, all those hibbity jibbities, all those spikes, those are those are equate to stutters in the performance. Dead blame old 243, by God. Where's my Jeep? Frame rate's over 60. <laughs> and it looks, oh my God, does it look good. See, I'm not picky. I want my graphics turned way, way up for the eye candy. Because I didn't spend all this money on monitors and graphics cards to run on low settings.
using about 600 watts system power right now. <clears throat> like my buddy said, that'll leave a mark on the old electric bill. Jeep. It's a great fucking game, by the way. Country Boy Simulator. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna guess that a, a, a new CPU would improve this a bit. But. Where's, where, where, where? Where do we get out of here? There. Okay. So don't just always assume the new video card is gonna be the end all when it comes to performance. Let's play this one.
this is a good example of, of uh, need a CPU. All right, I'm in town. That's going to be heavy CPU usage. You can see that. Using all the CPU and half of the GPU. Notice the frame time graph. All kinds of jaggy up and down all over the place. Notice the frame rate all over the place. But definitely using more CPU than GPU, so let's get out of town. What about my trusty axe? Notice the frame rate comes right on up when you get out of town. That's a turkey! Chopped his freaking head off. See, now we're getting good frame rate. 88, 90. But we're still using a lot of CPU. Use more CPU than GPU. So here we have an actual CPU bottleneck. Ideally, you want your GPU to be at 100% usage. That way you know it's doing all it can. You can see that we're not there. You never want the CPU number higher than the GPU number. So would this title benefit from a CPU upgrade? Absolutely it would. Is it playable right now? Absolutely it is. I'll play anything at 90 frames a second. Will this title benefit from a CPU upgrade? Absolutely. Will it smooth out the frame time graph? No, it won't. It's just a poorly optimized game. Now watch the, the FPS just tank when we go into town. down to 40 something 40 that's because there's a person here
But that right there, that's some handy shit to let you know what your weak link is. In this game, my CPU is definitely the weak link. It's using all that some bitch and half of the video card. Okay. The control panel. Now, this is a piece of shit here. Um, what did we just play? Did we play anything on this list? Game isn't optimized. Hmm. What does it want to change? It wants to change that to full screen. It wants to change far shadow quality to ultra. You know what? Let's go ahead and take its advice. It is using optimal settings. Is it? Is it? Let's see. <clears throat> Should only take a week or two to load. Because Rockstar... Ooh, I gotta get me some Fortnite. Not. settings. We got to turn the audio down a bit. Turn it down to about there. Let's go back. Okay, go over here to graphics. Let's see what we got. We got 3440 at 144 hertz. Full screen V-Sync off quality custom texture ultra 16 and iso lighting quality ultra global illumination ultra shadow quality ultra far shadow ultra ultra they think my cpu can handle this i think they're mistaken ultra ultra quality Let's run the benchmark, see what happens. I was getting a really good frame rate with my settings. Let's see what GeForce Experience settings do for me. <clears throat> Notice it's the Vulkan API, not DirectX 11 or 12 or 9. What happened to DirectX 10? Did we ever use that? Notice right here we're using more CPU than GPU. Mm hmm. That'll change. We want GPU at 100%. We want CPU below 100%. Considerably. That's ideal. We would like to see 50% CPU and 100% GPU. What are we going to get with an 8-year-old CPU?
Oh, and we want a really flat frame time graph, just like it is right now. Nice low numbers. This is beautiful. Go rock star. Now, with my settings, I was getting just over 60 frames a second here. And we can see that we're using almost all of the video card and half of the CPU. Huh. So, CPU upgrade would have done nothing for that scene. This is perfect. There's no bottleneck anywhere on that. Right here, a lot of CPU usage right there. I always want that GPU at 100%. When the CPU usage climbs and the GPU usage drops, you're not getting your money's worth out of your video card. Pretty even match on the load there. Would a CPU help here? Absolutely. A CPU upgrade. It's not like I don't have a CPU. I have one. It's just old like me. Yeah, too much, too much CPU there. Frame rate, still highly acceptable. Visuals, stunning. I mean, it looks gorgeous. It's running 80 frames a second. It's not stuttering. It's not dropping frames. It's just running perfectly. But you can see nine, over 96% CPU utilization. I could use an upgrade. Is it playable? Absolutely. Can I get more out of it? A wee bit. Don't forget, this is a lot of pixels. This is 5 million pixels. There's some good shooting right here. So you're watching this on YouTube, and they, they're going to compress the hell out of it. Um, can I turn the graphics up anymore? No. I mean, it's that's as good as it looks. Minimum frames per second, less than two. I don't recall that point. Maximum 109, average 77. 
ultimately playable. Ultimately playable. View. Basic. Here's what I'm talking about. Get this out of here. Calculator 1920 by 1080 resolution. You know, the old 1080p is 2,073,000 pixels that need to be refreshed 144 times a second. 3440 by 1440 is 4,953,000. Ultra wide divided by 1080, 2.38 times as many pixels. Over twice, over twice as many pixels as a 1080. So, use the tools. Use MSI Afterburner in conjunction with the Riva Tuner. To determine where your bottleneck is. Because a graphics card upgrade is not the solution. In 100% of the cases. All right, then. I'm out. See ya.